hello everybody again welcome back to that slay cook channel and today we'll be making a french recipe okay this french recipe in france is called cookie saint jacques and it's actually um scallop shell okay that cookie is called scallop shell and this recipe trust me is divine I love it so much and i know you would love it so too so if you want to put some spice you want to you know change the game of your recipes then watch till the end so right now as you can see me chopping the the scallop the fresh scallop shells after that the ingredient that i'll be using mm, i'll be adding some white wine to it and as you can see showing it to you not for advertisement just for you to know them it's white wine and as you get closer to the ingredients you can see i have some spring onions i have some shallots i have um carrots and i have mushrooms okay normally there's not too much to this recipe but as i want to put the game on a i love to you know add some vegetables to my food so the first thing is to put a sauce called bechamel sauce into the pan then you put some um sauce the next thing is to do is to add some cream in it so let's say about two tablespoons so i'll leave all the i read it the recipe and I did it with quantity, so I'll leave them in the description box below. So if you're interested and you won't need quantities to be exact, then they are in the description box below. Next, I added some salt. Next, I added some black pepper. Then I added some garlic. And then some white pepper. So after all that, I threw in all my vegetables, mixed it very well, and then added about three tablespoons of um, white wine. At this point, my sauce is ready for my scallop so right now i just dumped my scallop in the sauce and i didn't really cook it that much frankly it just took like about five to ten minutes because i don't want it to be overcooked i'll later put it in the in the oven and i like you know that juicy um feeling okay so don't overcook your scallops because you want that you know you want that flavor and everything, the aroma and everything to to be in there, okay? So here you scoop your sauce into shells or ceramic bowls. But if you don't have the ceramic bowls, you can use um, baking trays. I mean, you find a way about it to make it presentable. And as you can see, when you look at the texture, it's not so thick and it's not so um, in liquid form. So you have to try and find the balance because as you will bake it and as we bake it, it will thicken a bit. Okay, so you just have to find the right consistency for it. Just look at how beautiful it is. It just makes me um, feel happy to see how nice and presentable this meal is. And after th i 
got some breadcrumbs and let me tell you these breadcrumbs were old bread that i you know that became hard and then i just you know grated them into you know breadcrumbs so you don't need to go to the supermarket to get breadcrumbs you can use old bread all right so after that you just bake at 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes you know until it's golden brown and it looks presentable voila wow this is so sumptuous and the taste is heavenly so just you know try and make something new try and you know vary your old recipes and i mean try something new it doesn't hurt make sure you hit that like and subscribe button before you leave okay i'll see you in the next video bye